Hi loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hashtag no scales, it's me, Jamicia, and I am back with another video. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the video. So today I will be giving you guys five tips on how to successfully pass your first trimester or semester of nursing school. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and grab your notebooks and take notes. All right, so before we get into the video, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit this like button. And don't forget to hit the notification so you can get a notification every time I post a video. Tip number one, um, making sure that you are confident in what you want to become um, as far as your career. If you are having doubts about being a nurse, it is a possibility that your success rate will decrease. And I only say that because nursing school, like I said before, is challenging. It's not an easy task. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I know you guys hear that all the time. And um, sometimes you're gonna feel like giving up. You're gonna feel like you're stressed out. You're gonna feel like this is meant for me. Like, do I, am I meant to be a nurse? Like, is this my calling? And um, if you're confident in what you want to be, then that passion and that um, drive will help you to endure and to not to give up and not to quit because you know at the end of the day this is something that you want to do so that will force you to study to do what you got to do to make sure that you pass to make sure that you succeed okay um tip number two would be time management um so i really struggle this department because i girl look first of all i like to get my sleep I do take my time and I'm late a lot of times. So um, that I did struggle this semester, but I had to get it together. Like that was it. Like it didn't take me long to realize that girl, you need to be on time and you gotta do what you gotta do. So um, time management skills is a must. I'm just gonna add organization skills actually with this as well. Because if you are, if you have a planner, I, I used to use my calendar on my phone, but now I need to write it down because we all know like if you're writing something down that actually helps you remember as well. So if you have everything out in front of you, you can see this is like, okay, this is what's due and I have this much time to study for this and you know, such and such. So if you are organized and that you're having time management, then you will succeed. That's as simple as being on time for clinicals. Um, with our program, if you are late for a clinical, then they will be like, deuces, bye, don't come back. And then if you have to remake up, if you have to make up a clinical, they will charge you like 200 some dollars just to make up a clinical. You become a nurse and just say like, okay, you're doing a 12 hour shift. So you're waiting for this person to come relieve you and they're late. So you don't want to be that person that's waiting and you don't want to be that person that's late as well. It may sound like it's something so simple, but if you manage your time correctly, then it gives you enough time to get everything done and you won't be as stressed out. You're going to be stressed out, period. Like you're not going to be like, I don't want to say like pulling your hair out stressed out, but it's going to be a good stress, you know, because there's a lot of busy work and there's a lot of studying that goes into this. But if you have everything mapped out and organized, timed out and organized, then it will help you succeed in the nursing program. The tip three would be sleep. Um, a lot of people fail to realize that um, burnout is one of the top like nursing downfall because um, they do a lot, they overwork themselves. And as a nursing student, it's best for you to learn now that you need to go to sleep, okay? I've said this before in my prior videos, but this is something that you need to have. If you do not go to sleep, you cannot function. You can study for hours and hours and hours in and days in and days out, but if you do not go to sleep, when it's time for you to do that test, to take that test, your brain is not gonna know how to act because you haven't given your brain a proper rest and um you need to give your body proper rest too because your body will shut down on you you're thinking like oh you're gonna push your body to do this, this and that or whatever if you do not go to sleep when you this is what i do so just for an example when i'm studying and trust me i study for a long time i study hard i know i do but when i'm studying and i feel like i'm gonna get sleepy one thing i do do yes i do revert to um to energy drinks but that's not good for you but once my energy drink like wears off and i just and i realize that i'm reading the same paragraph over because i'm not comprehending and i'm not understanding what i'm reading or i forgot what i just read that means it's time to close the book 
Do something that's going to get your brain off of what you're doing so your brain can actually process all the information that you just fed it. Tip number four would be study habits. I studied so different now that I'm in the nursing program. All right guys, sorry my camera died, but I'm gonna use my phone, which is kind of bad quality, so I'm sorry. But um, as I was saying was that, um, the last thing that I was saying was I record myself um, explaining what I understand so that way that I can hear myself saying it and I'm understanding it more. Um, the Also, what I don't want to miss, what you guys have to remember to do, like I cannot stress this enough, read before you go to class. When I say that, that's going to help you because, okay, so how I do it is I read before I go to class and then when I'm actually in class, when the teacher is going over the lecture, I take notes on the notes that I already have, if that makes sense. And that way, and then um, I always come with questions. So I probably should make a part B because there's so much stuff that you could do. What I feel like it's so much stuff that, it sounds like it's common sense, but the way that nursing school is, is like you need to literally try to do everything you can to succeed. So, which brings me to my last tip, tip number five. Um, build a relationship with your professors. Um, I am pretty much cool with all of my professors except for one, which I'm not gonna even go into that. That's gonna be a story time for y'all and it's gonna be crazy. But um, build a relationship with your professors. They are giving you the exams. So if you don't have any idea about like what you're learning or how they're teaching, at least you can go to your professors and ask them, hey, what did you mean by this? Because sometimes, no, they do not want to answer all the questions, especially if they know that you haven't read before, if you haven't been prepared. They're not going to want to ask you all, and they're not going to want to answer all of those questions that you have for them during lecture time when they have a certain amount of time to make sure that you get all the material that you need. So you can go to your professor's office and you can speak to your professors. And if you don't have, if you don't understand it, and it's also good because at the end of the semester, if your professor knows that you've been pushing, you've been working, and you've been doing everything that you could do, then they're gonna help you. Like I feel like for most professors will help you. Okay, guys, as you can tell, it's getting super dark out here. I am sweating. My cameras are acting retarded, but I will be making a part two to this video, um, five more tips. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And also, guys, I'll see you in the next video. This is...